In this video, let's look at free fall motion. Your book says motion that occurs when an object near the earth is imparted some initial velocity and thereafter moves along a vertical line called free fall motion. We will assume an object moves along an s-axis whose origin is at the surface of the earth and whose positive direction is up. We will call the constant g to acceleration due to gravity is about 9.8 meters per second squared or 32 feet per second squared. All right, the position velocity functions for free fall motion or s of t is equal to s sub of zero plus v subscript of zero times t minus one out g t squared and v of t is equal to v subscript of zero minus g times t. All right, this looks like the same um, equations we had earlier, which they really are. We're just using g instead of t because if the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared or 32 feet per second, that is constant acceleration. All right, so let's keep this in mind. And let's look at our first example here for free fall. Assume a free fall model applies. So that means I'm gonna be using one of these or both of these. A projectile is launched vertically upward from ground level with an initial velocity of 16 feet per second. All right, Porte is asking, how long will it take for the projectile to hit the ground? How long will it take for the projectile to hit the ground? All right, let's think about what they're asking. How long will it take to hit the ground? When it hits the ground, think about a projectile going up, going back down. When it hits the ground, its position is going to be zero. If it's a ground level, its position is going to be zero units upward, you could think of, okay? So if I want to answer how long will it take for the projectile to hit the ground, I want to find the position function and then set that position function equal to zero. So let's start out finding the position function. And S of t is equal to S subscript of zero plus V subscript of zero times t minus one half G times t. All right, S subscript of zero is the initial position. What is the initial position here? A projectile is launched vertically upward from ground level. So its initial position is going to be zero feet up. Plus its initial velocity times time. What's its initial velocity? They tell me the initial velocity is 16. So I'm going to say 16t minus one half times g times t. Now, what are we going to use for G here? 9.8 or 32? Well, they're talking about feet per second as a unit of the velocity. So we're going to use the one with feet in it, which is 32. Let's clean up this function. So S of T is equal to 16T minus 16 t squared. That should be a squared right here. So square there, square there. If I want to determine how long it would take for the projectile to hit the ground, I want to know when is this position function going to be at ground level or equal to zero? Well, we can factor a 16 t out of this and we're left at 1 minus t it's equal to zero. So 16t is equal to zero and one minus t will also be equal to zero. So that gives us t is zero and t is equal to one. Well, how long will it take for the projectile to hit the ground? We're gonna say one and what's gonna be our unit here? Second. So I'm going to say one second. This one actually kind of makes sense in this problem because it was launched from ground level. So at zero seconds, it was at the ground. Let's 
Let's move on to part B. Part B says, how long would the projectile be moving upward? How long would the projectile be moving upward? Well, let's see. One way I could do this is I could think of the projectile moving upward and then at some point it stops and then it goes back down, okay? What is the velocity at this point right here where it changes from going up to going down? What is the velocity there? Oh, wouldn't it stop for a moment of time and then come back down? So the velocity would be zero here. So let's find out where my velocity is zero. Now to find my velocity function, I'm gonna use this formula right here. V of t is equal to V naught minus G times T. So V of T is equal to, what's my initial velocity? Tells me 16. G we said was 32 times T. Now what do we say the velocity here we want to know where that's equal to zero. So take this velocity function, set it equal to zero. If we solve, what do we get? T is equal to one half. How long were the projectile be moving upward? For one half of a second. One half of a second. 